I think if you think about it this way, you know, we can we when we generally like to think that um, Bitcoin is government resistant, you know, and I think there are very good reasons to understand why it is like that, and of course it's true. But however, Bitcoin I think is kind of dependent on government in spite of its resistance to it because. It depends on government for the incentive for people to use it. You know, Bitcoin requires government to continue to do stupid things in order for people to want to use Bitcoin. And I know I'm scared some of you, but the good news is you don't have anything to worry about. We're counting on governments to do stupid things. Everything is under control. Everything's going according to plan. They're going to continue with this. <laughs> and <laughs> and essentially, you know, they're. They're going to, you know, they don't run terrible monetary policy just because um, they want to advertise Bitcoin. Although probably Bitstein might disagree. He thinks they're doing it because they're closet maximalists. But I think they generally do it because they benefit from it. But they're kind of doing us a favor because that's ultimately the only advertisement that Bitcoin needs. And that's what continues uh, to keep Bitcoin going. And so... In a sense, the continuation of the status quo, as long as monetary policy continues, uh, it's bad enough that we don't have a free market choice, and uh, it's not good enough for people to want to get out of, uh, for people to not think that they need to get out of the mainstream uh, fiat monetary system. If it's not good enough and if it's not bad enough, then essentially the status quo continues to favor Bitcoin. Governments continue to subsidize and support Bitcoin. And finally, another thing that governments continue to support and subsidize is my website, safeitdean.com. And I'm going to shill you my website right now because just like governments continue to support Bitcoin by um, supporting bad monetary and banking policies, they support by my website by continuing to teach you bad economics in your university and making your university, wherever you are in the world, not teach proper Austrian economics, therefore forcing you to turn to my website, safedean.com, if you want to turn, if you want to learn about Austrian economics. So I'm offering now online courses, accepting Bitcoin only as well, and um, it's uh, also my book is out in uh, eight languages now, and it will soon be out in another uh, five languages. And if anybody is in the region, uh, on Tuesday we have uh, the release in uh, Helsinki for the Finnish translation of the book. Thank you very much.